this is the first year of this PBL, and what we did is we, we combined the junior web students along with the junior animation students, along with juniors in physics with Miss Williams' class, and so we brought all of these different areas together, and the web students were teaching the physics through a website, the animation students were animating the physics through an animation, and Miss Williams was teaching the physics. So we all kind of brought, came together to create this PBL. The PBL was a long process that lasted more than a month, and was different from others in the past, as it was the biggest in scale between all three classes. Some obstacles that we faced with this project was making sure all of our physics concepts were right and solid and that we weren't copywriting somebody else's work and that everything was in our words. With the website, we were learning a new coding language, which is based on a server, so you have to upload it to make it like actually live and be able to view it. So that was a new coding language that we learned. So there were a lot of small things just from learning new things and making sure we were all correct with our content was the main problems. To analyze the multitude of data, the students have to present their whole project in front of multiple judges. The judges evaluated and critiqued the different aspects of their works. Well, we had um, the physics teachers in there that were our physics experts, and so they could, you know, comment and uh, judge the students on that. We have Robert, who is from industry. He graduated from SWECTA a few years ago, and he's a web designer right now. And so he came in um, to judge the students on their coding and their background and that kind of stuff on their websites. And then um, I'm the animator judge. So. You get a certificate. And so the certificate right here is dynamic.